Hey coders and welcome to episode 6 of our script servers playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about the on event updated trigger. So on event updated method is an installable trigger so there's no simple trigger equivalent for this. Uh, however this has to do with the Google Calendar events. So whenever you have a Google Calendar event, say an invite that's created or updated or deleted, this trigger will fire. So let's see what that looks like in the code. So this is the function that we're going to try to set up on a trigger whenever our calendar gets updated. It's going to be called log updates and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be recording our updates to a spreadsheet and here is our spreadsheet. It's the my other spreadsheet that we've been working on in previous videos and we're going to record a timestamp when our when our calendar was updated but then we're also going to record which calendar got updated. In this case, it's going to probably be all the same, but it's going to be under the heading calendar ID. So if we go back here, we get our spreadsheet. We open that by ID, which is right here. We get our sheet by name. Again, GCal updates right here. And then we're going to append in a row. And then it's going to be the, the timestamp, a new date. And then it's going to be our calendar ID, which is extracted from this event parameter. So I'm just going to say right now, for when we update the calendar and we set this up as a trigger, say the on event updated, we actually do not get a lot of information from this event parameter. So we don't get like which event got updated or anything like that. Unfortunately, that's just the way that Google has set it up. If you do want to get information, on, on which event say got updated in your Google Calendar, you're going to have to use the Calendar Advanced Services, which is the Calendar API. And it's not terribly difficult to do, but that is something that we'll cover in a later playlist. But for now, let's just do something simple and append a row and just get the calendar ID. Great, so now let's set up our, our trigger. Again, this is an installable trigger, so we're gonna have to access script app. And then we'll say new trigger. The function name will be log updates. So we'll say log updates, and that matches. Great. And then we'll drop a line. We'll say for, and then now it's going to be for user calendar. So it asks for a string, an email ID. So this is basically going to be your Gmail, uh, your Gmail account. So I'll just show you what that looks like. So it's basically going to be. Uh, davidtheway7 at gmail.com, but I'll show you where to find that just to verify. So you would go under your calendar, and here's my calendar right here. You hit this, and then you hit the settings and sharing. You scroll down a bit until you find calendar ID. Here it is right here. So as you can see, this is the Gmail account that is associated with your uh, Google account, and it's very simple. But just, again, if you want to verify, it's right here. But I'm pretty sure that is going to be the email ID for every single calendar. Unless perhaps if you can change it, I'm not really sure. Anyways, so then we'll drop a line and then we'll say on event updated. So this is going to be our trigger. This is going to be our method. And then we'll drop a line again. We'll hit create. Tap that semicolon key. Hit save. And then we'll run it. It's going to ask for authorization. So let's do that real quick. Yes, this is the account. Same old story, we'll go to this unsafe entitled project, but don't worry, it is actually very safe. We wrote it. Great, so now it ran, and then our trigger has now been set up. So let's just see if this works. So if we go into our Google Calendar, and we just make a new event, say, my new event, and we hit save, the event has been saved, let's go into our spreadsheet now. And here it is, right here. So here has here was the uh, the trigger that ran, it inputted a new row, or it appended a new row, and this is the timestamp, and again, this is our calendar ID. So let's try this again, uh, ask me later. Okay, so let's try this again, got it. All right, let's edit the event now. So let's say that we wanted to say that, um, Let's see, instead of saying busy, let's just say free, and we'll save it. Event saved, all right, let's go back, and here it is, again, it's edited. So 
that is for again this it, it, it if the trigger fires whenever you create an event when you edit event and also when you delete event so if we delete this one and we say trash can event has been deleted let's go back into our spreadsheet and voila there it is there's a there's another log that's been updated so again whenever anything has been updated created deleted on your google calendar this script is going to fire this function or this trigger is going to fire this function and then it's going to do something with it again i want to emphasize that this this event parameter is not going to give you a lot of information it's it's practically useless in my opinion so if you wanted to get say which event was created or which event was edited and what those edits are you're going to have to use the google calendar api so from the advanced services and again it's not too terribly hard to do that but uh, that is going, you cannot do that from the calendar service, uh, from the standalone calendar service or anything like that. Um, but again, it is possible, but you can't get it from this event parameter, unfortunately. All right, guys, I hope you liked that video. I hope it taught you something. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.